a lot. And uh, the governor is extraordinarily grateful, extraordinarily grateful for the resources that we receive from the federal government. But it's not enough. We are going to continue to need uh, to leverage those resources with private sector dollars. Private public private partnerships are going to be more important than ever in the context of Sandy rebuilding. Um, it is not going to make every citizen uh, whole. It's not going to necessarily put every business back to where it was. But in some cases, many communities and we hope many homeowners and businesses will be better than ever. But it's an, it's an enormous amount of resources and it presents a tremendous opportunity that we will get right, that we will get right because we have to get right. The final question, generals have a tendency to fight the last war. And of course, a lot of meeting with the building Congress before and what the city and state are producing focus on another sand or a weather storm. Are there non-weather emergencies that we should be thinking of or that the state already is thinking about um, to prepare us for? Yes, there are. Um, wearing my very old hat as um, I was advisor to um, former Senator, former Secretary of State on Homeland Security issues for five years. I worked for her when 9-11 hit. Uh, we were talking about resiliency then, but resiliency in the context of terrorist threats. Now we're talking about resiliency in the context of threats from Mother Nature. Interestingly enough, what makes a building resilient can be equally relevant to both types of threats, both terrorists, man-made, as well as those uh, caused by Mother Nature. And without question, the governor, since before Sandy hit, and certainly uh, many of you have heard him speak about this since after Sandy hit, we have to, yes, look back in terms of lessons forward, uh, lessons learned, but we have to constantly look forward and think about how best that we can prepare possibly for another Sandy, but for other storms and disasters that right now we can barely even contemplate. But we've got the intellectual firepower in this state, in this region, in this country, at the federal, state, and local government level, and in the private sector most significantly, to help figure it out.